Yeah, you guys are okay. Oh, we have a lot of plants back there. You haven't seen them, huh? I'll have to go back there. I'll come tomorrow and take some pictures with my regular camera. Which ones? This right here, this is the Bells of Ireland. They're over here. Oh, yeah. Wait, let's get in. What, what are those? Well, you got, bells of Ireland. Right uh -huh. You can get there and tell me. No, no, no. Those are the Bells of Ireland. I don't want to come out. Why are you going to? Well, we're going to interview you in a minute. Which one? Oh, these. Those are hot. Bells of Ireland, okay. Uh -huh, that's what they are. And what are they? Oh. And these other ones are? The other ones, the men are Bells of Ireland, and um, I don't know the other ones, what they are. See? And then the geraniums, the ruda, the ruda, like that one, this one. I like the hearts and flowers, those grow really good. This is a cactus plant right here, Hank. Right here. Okay. Yeah. But I said, then we got over here. Yeah. Back there we have, you haven't seen the back, have you? What is this? This sunflower. Oh, this is a little virgin. Yeah, Mary put it there. How old is it? Ooh, how old is it, Maria? How old is that? What? The virgin, did you see the cycle? Is the I house? don't remember that. I don't even know who gave it to me. She put it there. That's pretty. It's a lot of work. Huh? Huh? It's a lot of work. Yes, we've done. I don't, I don't see any weeds in them or no, grass. No, we clean it. He will love it. Oh yeah, I see a dove. big dove. Let's eat him. Yeah. This is a tombstone rose. This one right here. It was a tiny little... Let me look. What is it? It's a miracle. We There's a lot of caliche here. Oh yeah. Yeah, see all that wow. we have? Wow. What is that? Pomegranate? Pomegranate. The one my Nino Enrique gave me. <clears throat> he gave me that one. A tiny little one and look at it. It's doing good. It's palm granites too. But us, then there's a there's a lot of plants over here, Mira. Oh yeah, you know, I never see these. Yeah. I keep on taking plants, transplanting them over here. You got this one here. The cotillos. Oh yeah. We clean our own yard and todo. Look at the cactuses. We those are pretty when they bloom. What color are the flowers when they bloom? Red. Ah, oh, those are pretty. And that's a pimiento tree. Right there. Oh, that one? That one right there. The big one? Yeah. Pimiento? They call it the pimiento tree. Can you eat them? No. We've never tried them. It's a miracle that I tell you that we have plants because the caliche. Oh, yeah. I started to give him one of them. Boy, I hit a lot of caliche. All these are transplants that I put down. Mary and I. It's a lot of work. Yes, it is. Because well, I don't see any weeds at all. No, we had, we had just cleaned it. We try and keep it clean. It looks really good. Is this a, a peach tree or something? Uh -huh. What kind of tree is that? This is a peach tree. Yeah, I thought. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I see one there. Yeah, there, there's some. There's some a fruit. whole bunch of them there, and they're sweet. See with a paraganta. 
I root them and then I transplant and look at oh, them. Oh yeah. All these are just transplants that I have done. How do you transplant them? Huh? What do you do when you transplant them? You put it in the soil or? Put it in the soil, that's one of them. Yeah, so and, that's a big and, one. Uh, the other one, this one, I put them down. See, I got that one rooting right there. I got another rooting right there, over here. I put dirt on it, but then when it puts out the roots, then I transplant them. And look at them, how pretty. Yeah. What's that other one there next to it? Which one? That's um, uh, this the um, honeysuckle. Honeysuckle, okay. No, not honeysuckle. Yeah, it kind of looks I like know, it. I know, what is it called? Spit up there. This is a root onion, Hank. Wow. Look at it. But this is my favorite, my Nino Enrique. Gave me this one. Look at all the ants. And I got some peaches here coming in. We have some here. Oh, yeah. Are those peaches or Yeah, figs? yeah. Uh-huh. No, they're peaches. Yeah. Look at David Medina has a yard real pretty over there. Oh yeah, yeah. Then I put some cactus down here, look. We get no palitos from there. <coughs> well, you used to have a lot more. You cleaned everything up down there. Yeah, we there. cleaned up uh -huh, a lot of them. Why, have we not eaten them up? No, we just won't need uh, it. See, they're the new ones right there. Yeah, the I see those. Do you eat them? Oh yeah. We make them with hamburger and pork sausage. Mm. They come out real good. I had a graduation today down here. Oh yeah, up in Marinci too, eighth yeah. grade. This is a bottle brush. Oh yeah, those right are here. pretty good. Just have one of those. And this is supposed to be hedge, but look, I put it into a tree. Yeah. You guys have done a lot of work. Yes. Well, you're out here all the time. We're going to try and get the mosquitoes out. Where'd you get this? What the? the birdcage. Oh, they gave it to me. Uh oh. We have the bells here. Yeah, we have a lot of junk, but it's, it looks nice. The plants look Yeah, nice it looks right really now. good. It looks really, really nice. I never come over here. I didn't expect to see it that way. You haven't been over here on this side right now. No. Oh, you got two gates. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at this one. It's like your mom's. Yeah, those are pretty. I saw that one in my mother's juice Look yesterday. Those are really nice. The cat is um, Bob Link. I saw that. Bobby. What's no tail on the cat. Uh -huh. What's the cat's name? Bobby. A little female? Yeah, she's spaded already. What's the matter, girl, huh? She says, it's hot. You what? She says it's hot. Uh, come here, girl. It's only going to get hotter. Come on, girl. Come on. What's the matter, Mama? Huh? Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We love her because she hasn't gone. When company comes, she takes off. Yeah, so anywhere you guys want to be. How do you like our view? I think it's really nice. That's what I wanted to get. Look at the flags up there. Oh, yeah. Can you see them? Yeah, way up on top. I see them at night. They haven't lit up. <clears throat> there you go. I see them at night. They must have them lit up, right? Yeah. This lady that uh, comes, the plaque way up there on the mountain. That's what yeah. we're talking about. Yeah. It comes from Phoenix. Oh, yeah. She says, Rose, I would like to live up here on the hill. It's a beautiful place. Everything up here, yeah. So they're having an eighth grade graduation tonight, okay? Yes, maybe it'll be the last one they want to close the school. That's what I hear. Yep, gotta consolidate with Marenzi to get the Yeah, there's not, not enough kids going to school here. How long has that truck been, Kachudi's truck been there? Remember Mary Madrigal's house? Yeah. They, had a, they fixed it real pretty. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. 
then Vern is fixing that one too. He's doing a good job. On, on the Ochoa's house? Right there on the Ochoa's house, yeah. Yeah, my mother told me what happened to the person that owned it. They died, right? Winter, they come over and stay here. Where do they live? Uh, Denver. Who is it? Vern Velasco. Oh. He used to be with Vivian, my niece. Oh, yeah, I remember Vivian. Vivian, yeah. Sit down, Hank. You guys ready to get? You want to do it here? Oh, God. <coughs> All right, we're going to start with it. M Mary, what's your full name? Your full name. Yeah. What's your full name? You have to talk loud to her because she's kind of hard to hear. Okay. What's your full name? Mary Oviedo. What was that before it was Oviedo? Roival. 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 Mary Roival. Roival Oviedo. And, and when were you born, Mary? Uh, March. Uh, March. <laughs> May the 22nd. It already passed. Happy birthday. What year? 17. Wow. Happy birthday. We just <laughs> missed it. You. I just had one. And, and, and where were you born? Where were you I'm born? Down there. In, I don't know what they, they the call it. Just below Cuba. The hospital. There used to be by the... Oh, mother. really? There used to be a building there. I know there was one on the other side of the track. No, no. This side. Oh, there was one on Down this side? Uh -huh. I don't remember that at all. Mm -hmm. And Okay. Rosa, your name? Rosa. Did you have another name other than Rosa? Rosana, my Nina Chepa used to call me Rosana. And and what what day were you born? August of 30, 1926. And where? Clifton, right here, my house. Oh, you're in your house. So who was? Would you have a doctor when you guys no. were born? No, no doctors. Did you have a doctor? So how were you born? Who? Grandma had me there. I don't know. I don't know what yeah, But then it wasn't your mother Chepa. because she was having yeah, it. Nina, <laughs> Nina Chepa was there, your uh, grandma. Oh. Okay, now. <coughs> do you have any do you have any brothers? They're all gone. They're all dead. And what were their names? The first one was Patricio Roybal. Do you remember when he was born? He was born August the thirty, what Maria? No, the Dicho, what year was he born? August the second? Nineteen ten. Nineteen ten. Wow. Patricio. Patricio, that's Patricio. And after that? Uh, Sabino, right? Sabino, Rival. And when was he born? March the what? March the 14th. 14. 1913. Wow. And after him? Uh, Juanita. Juanita. Juanita Rival, it turned out to be what? San, San, Juanita Santoya? Rival Alba. Uh -huh. Okay. And when was she born? She was born in uh, July, July the 12th, 19, 19, 14, 15, probably, 14 or 15. No, wait a minute, 15. Yeah, because Trumpet was born in 1913. 13, the 14, she was born in 14. She was born in 14. Uh -huh. And then after that? Uh, Luisa, verdad? Luisa. Luisa was born in uh, when? She was born in 19... Let me see. You were a year apart. You were born in May. 1916. You know what, what month? February, you know? February uh, 19th. That's pretty good. After her? Me? Mary. Uh, Mary. Mary Romano. Our okay. <laughs> And then after that? I was born 1917, May the 22nd. Joaquin Wiesel. Wiesel was born in 1920. March. Where is that? Hmm? On March? March the 20th. Irene's birthday. Yeah, Irene's I think, yeah, right, it's the 20th. No, no. That was there more? And then, uh, no, and then uh, Monchi was born después. Raymond? Raymond was in born in March the 25th, 19 what? The 25th, 1923. Uh -huh. And then? Tony? Tony. He was born in January. The 19th, the, what, wait the a 17th. The, the 17th. 17th. 19 what, 19 over 26, 24 I think it was. Or yeah, 24. 
And then I was born August the 30th, 1926. After that? Uh-huh. You was a baby? I was she a was baby. She was a baby? She was a baby, yeah. Uh-huh. And, uh, and then y'all lived in that house right over right there? Right there, uh-huh. The house right there. And then, and then when you were born there, uh, your, your parents, who was your mother? Margarita Madrid Roival. And where did she come from? Gila, New Mexico. They used to call right there the line that Duncan, they used to run the Gila, New Mexico. That's where she was born. Oh, really? Yeah. And your father? Santiago Valencia. <coughs> New Mexico. Las Cruces. Do you remember anything about your grandparents? No, we didn't. You know, I have no idea where they came from All either. we know the names of my grandma, that through my mom's side, Apolonia. Apolonia. And they came to Arizona from where? Where did my, from, where did my grandma come from? From Mexico, que no? Or what? No, no from no. here. Yeah, sure. They were from here. Up, uh, grandma. No, in Hila, Hila, New Mexico. No. Grandma, la mamá de mi mamá. Oh, yes, my mom. In Sonora. Mom. Sonora, Mexico. Sonora, you remember Mexico. her name? Apolonia. Apolonia. And and, and your Apolonia grandfather? Luis. The grandfather era Patricio, que no? Was there a Patricio? No. Your grandpa's name? Mm -mm, I think it was... Um, I don't know that. Let me remember. We tried to remember. Oh, it's okay. It's hard to remember all that stuff. Uh -huh. No problem. And and then they all. Ferman. 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 Chavez. What was his name? Ferman. Ferman. Ferman Chavez. With an F. Ferman uh -huh. Chavez. Uh -huh. And he's your grandfather. Yeah. And he came from Mexico too. From Mexico. Sonora or Chihuahua. Where did he No, he came from New Mexico. Que no, del Paso. Oh, del Paso. I think so. And then, when they all passed away, where, where are they? Where's everybody buried? Okay, my grandma was supposed to, supposed to be buried up here at the Clifton Cemetery. And my dad is buried up there too. And my mom's buried up there, and Chapo's buried up there, and um, Monchi, Juanita, and Luisa all are the, buried. The Clifton there. Cemetery, the one up in Marincia? Up here. Okay. All of them. And Tony, my brother, Tony. my brother. Uh -huh. So, let me discuss your, your parents. And uh, which, where, where did you guys uh, uh, go to school? Great school. Down. First, we went to Chase Creek. You went to Chase they Creek. They segregated. How the come? Kids. Okay, I was going to ask why. Yeah, yeah, because they segregated the kids, and the white ones went over here. The Chicanos went out there. How'd you get to school? Uh, by bus or walk. Bus. Mr. Sloan used to come and get us. And uh, what was the name of the school up in Chase Creek? Just Chase Creek School. That's, that, that's the one where the... The old building used to, where they used to have the dances. The, the, the CYO, whatever. The CYO and everything. Uh -huh. That was a nice building. Very nice. So it was already built when you guys were kids. And then uh, after grade school, where'd you go? Down to, they sent us over here to first grade. Kindergarten was over there, first grade was over here at the oh. South Clifton School. That, not not the lean building. They built that later. No, no, that that was built later. And then after after grade school down there, where did you go to high school? High school, Clifton. Clifton High School. Did your girls graduate from Clifton? No, I w no, I didn't graduate from Clifton High School. Ni Mary tampoco. What? Mary, the? you didn't graduate from high school. <coughs> oh, we went to the eighth grade. Just the eighth grade? It worked. They had to go work. Oh, I know. What? Uh, and then what did you do? Uh, And then after that, what? Uh, when did you guys get? When your girls get married? You. When did you get married? <laughs> December the ninth, nineteen. Let me see. That's like I can't remember either. I got married in uh, December the 29th, nineteen forty-five. And to whom? Tony Gomez Munoz from Marenzi. And Mary? Alfredo. Alfredo Oviedo. And where's he from? Marenzi. He was from Marenzi. He was from, from Marenzi. And then what, did they all work for the mine? Yes. Mm -hmm. How many, uh, 
How many children do you have, Mary? Two. Names? Virginia and David. And when was Virginia born? Virgie, when was she born? 19, what? 41. 41, she's as old as Irene? In March, uh-huh. March. March, March the 23rd. Wow, almost, almost the same thing. Uh-huh. And David? He was born May the 17th, I think 1949. Not 49, no, no, this. I'm 46. No, he was uh, 41, 40. Melinda Probably was 47. He was a year behind me? Uh-huh. Probably 47. For me, I can't remember. Oh, well, that's okay. We all forget. No doubt about it. Don't worry about it. That's the way we're all that well, way. You were born uh, the same uh, year. I you was born in 46, January mm -hmm. in 46. Yeah. And Mary, which, who, who, who are your children? Let me see. 47. You were born 1947. Yeah. Mary, and who are your children? Who are your children? No, yours. Oh, mine. Mine are the first one is Melinda. And when was she born? She was born uh, September the 29th, 1946. Does she have a middle name? Christina. And after that? After that, she married Manuel Apodaca. He passed away and she married Raul Bustamante. And and who's your next child? Their child? Your child. Uh, mine, uh, my, uh, uh, Michael. Michael, do you have a middle name? Michael Anthony Munoz. And when was he born? He was born in... Um, when was Michael born? Uh, I don't know about us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's, it's all right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, hey, Michael, Michael, Michael. Born. He born in June. June, June the 25th, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah. And after, after Michael? Olivia. And, and when Olivia was she born? Olivia was born March the 20th. What was it? The 20th? The 21st, I think. What? March the 21st, 1940. Not the 30th, the 5th. The 5th, the 5th, the 5th, the 5th, March the 5th, 1950, what, 50 something. I can't remember. I should have written that down. Sorry, no problem. We should have. We, we can get them later on. Uh -huh, later on, we'll get them. <coughs> we should have put all that down. <laughs> Too much That's work. okay. We can, we can do it again. Uh -huh. No problem. We'll get it. We'll get all those little facts. And, uh, do you remember, I, I know you had a lot of, you had, do you have a lot of aunts and uncles here too? Ahorita there's not any. I mean, but when you, when you were young. When we were young, yeah, we had some from Phoenix, the Villas. That was my aunt, my mom's sister. We had one in California, Rita Chavez and Carmen Flores. Mm -hmm. Casimiro Chavez, that was my uncle, my mom's brother. Desiderio. And, uh, Desiderio Chavez was my mom's brother. And most of them were, didn't live here, huh? No, in California. In California. And one in Phoenix. Do you remember any stories about them? Um, any unusual stories that they came? Well, what was it about the family? My Tia Maria was, uh, they took her to Sonora when she was little. So she was raised in Sonora, Mexico, but she was an American citizen, you know, born in the United States. So they didn't meet at the piano? They met in 19, when was the war? Let's see, 1940, wait a minute, 40, 49? No, 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 sooner than that. Uh, I think in 1942, that's when they started. The two sisters met for the first time. They, they didn't know they, they were alive. My tia lived in Phoenix. Grandma, my mom lived here in Clifton. And when Tony was wounded, Tony, my brother, and uh, he was in the service in South Pacific, the uh, Howard Pyle um, sent a paper and a record where he had been wounded. And my tia Maria knew that she had a sister, Margarita, but they never got together because they took her real young to Sonora. So after how many years? 50 something years that they, she read in the paper and she wrote a letter over here and this is where they found out they were sisters. It was the first it. time they met. Wow. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. then, then one of your brothers drive for Patton in the Army? Weasel. 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 Joaquin. Joaquin was in Germany. And you guys lived here all the time when... All the uh, time. And then when you got married, where did you, where'd you, where, where'd you live, Mary, when you got married? Did you move out of the house? Marinci. 
Yeah, she moved in Marinci. You lived in Marinci. The she old, old Marinci? Old Marinci. Where at? Pal Puerto, verdad? Mm -hmm. Pal Puerto. Mm -hmm. That's what they used to call it. Way over there in Marinci, like you were going to go down to the pit. El Puerto. Go towards the pit. Uh -huh. I know, I don't remember that. Uh -huh. And you, Rosa? I lived in Marinci and then I moved to Clifton. Up here? Uh huh. Shannon Hill. Shannon I remember. Hill. Uh, who, who built your home? Uh, Jim Walter. No, but it was before that. No, I didn't. I did. we, we lived down there and then we lived with Grandma. I thought you had a house here. It was kind of green. The one that uh, the Petro Eval, yeah, that one. We had the little house and then they tore it, they built this one. Yeah, and they tore, they tore it down. Yeah. I remember that one. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I remember that. Do you remember? Okay, so. When you were living in that house over there, what type of kitchen did you have? A small kitchen, verdad? Did you have a... What kind of kitchen did we have at the house of? Simple. Just a did simple. You, did you have a... What kind of stove? A wood stove. A wood stove. A wood stove. And then yeah. the guests came in and they put the gas stove. Who was, who was responsible for getting the wood? Who was? Munchi, Raymond, and Tony. And a lot of times they would buy it from Venceslao Subia. They would bring it. They would buy wood from, um, what's his name? The one from Chase Creek. Um, there used to be a man that used to sell wood. And he, uh, Andres Rios. Andres Rios. Mm -hmm. I know, my dad, they had, they had the burrows. They used to get when them. the river came, <coughs> they yeah. brought a lot of wood, you yeah. know? And all of them would go and... That was kind of dangerous, of, wasn't it? Get the piles of wood and put it aside for them. Did you ever mm -hmm. run into any... Snakes, scorpions, centipedes yes, when you yes. get in the wood? No, 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 not here. But we've seen the snakes up here. Yeah. Not down there where they had the wood. The guys would go and get the wood, Monchi and Tony and Weasel, and put it there. Everybody had their little place of wood, so they would get, uh, get it, you know, and bring it. They would take the burros and bring it in the burros. How did you have? Did you have running water, or did you have yes, to get water? Yes, we had some running water, uh -huh, but we didn't have no heater. Everything had to be put on the stove to heat. To wash, they had to put topside outside, and then let the water get hot, and then use the washboard. Yeah, I remember the washboards. And you, you didn't have dryers, right? What did you no, use? No, 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 no dryers. The clotheslines. Who was dryer. who was responsible for doing the washing? My mom, and the girls. And the girls, just the yeah. girls. Washboard. <laughs> the girls did all the washing. Who did the cooking? The girls did too, and my mom. My mom used to go out and deliver babies. I know. She delivered 250, what? Wow. Yeah. Really? And thank you, Lord, not one of them died. Dr. Dorn would, they would go and tell him, uh, so-and-so is ready to have a baby. Go up with Shorty, I'll be up there. So by the time he came, my mom already had the baby. Everything was clean. All he had to he do would was just sign, sign. sign the paper. Where did she get her training? She just learned. And she used to do a lot of remedies that would just come to her head. We think she was gifted in a certain way because the thing she did, everything came out fine. People were cured in many ways. Oh, I know. Do you remember any of those? Yes, Gloria. When she broke her arm. Oh, really? And uh, she fell off the truck from the ice truck when Lito was working. And they put a cast on her down here in the hospital. And. Uh, they put in her arm stayed crooked. So when grandma saw it, they took off the cast, she told him, Nelly and Lito, that arm is not set right. Oh yeah, Maggie, they say once she starts moving, Gloria couldn't move her arm, she had it like this. So grandma asked if they would give her permission, things would come to her mind, like I tell you, she was thinking, if they would give her permission that she could fix her arm. So she sent Lito down to the river to get some kind of, what is it, uh, leaves from a tree, right now? Some, uh, some herb from the river. And he brought them. Sauce. Grandma Sauce. boiled them. And then she gave Gloria an aspirin. Gloria was little. I was there. My Nina Chepa put her arm here and Grandma broke mm -hmm. it. Gloria passed out. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> so when she came, uh, she then after that, she got the, the what was it, the thing that plaster. she... Plaster. She made no, a plaster. A plaster out of the weeds. Uh, flowers and everything. I don't know what she put in there. I know she used camphor and uh, what's the other one that she used para que ponía y que era lo que hacía. She used a lot of stuff, you know. It just came to her mind and she put it on Gloria's arm 
and wrap that up. She told him, don't wet her arm until nine days. Then you can start taking off the, the gauze and the bandages. So when she, it was nine days, she told uh, Gloria, okay, they took him off. Gloria, move your arm. Maggie, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to, Gloria, move your arm. So she moved and she started moving it all around. She was healed. Amazing. But things would come to her mind. She was a gifted person for taking care of people that were sick. And uh, when when her husband came to see my mom, Jack wanted to find out what she had done. And Gloria says, Maggie, Jack doesn't believe what you did to me. He wants to know what you did to me. And the grandma says, none of your business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She didn't tell him. Yeah, they didn't believe uh, uh -huh. that she had done it. Mm -hmm. That it was impossible for her to break the arm again. She did it. When, <laughs> when, when, when you girls were young, do you remember some of the, what were some of the happy things you remember growing up Going here to the show and in Clifton? Playing here, around here, kick the can, uh, the belt. What did you play when you were young? What we play? Uh-huh. We would uh, play hide and seek and run around here. Fight with each other <laughs> with the boys. Did you have a TV? No. no. Are you kidding? You had I know you had radio, right? Long after that radio came in, we had a little radio that your grandma sold it to me, a little one. Oh yeah. And so grandma Chippa. That was so, our entertainment. So how'd you guys celebrate birthdays? We didn't have them. There were no birthdays for that. Hmm? We didn't celebrate birthdays. No cake, no, no ice cream? nothing, nothing. We didn't have. Huh? Very poor, but humble. What, uh, is, did you have electricity? First they had the, the wood stove, for that, and, and the lamps. The kerosene lamps? The kerosene lamps. Then electricity came. How about a telephone? And no telephone until many years afterwards. Did TV you, afterwards too. Did you? I remember we had, we used to go to the Theater. Western Auto. Uh -huh. Remember and watch TV on the outside? Yeah. That had the Friday night fights or yeah. something. Yeah. Uh huh. And everybody park on the cross the tracks and watch TV. In 19, uh, 1956, that's when they uh, put the cable here. When when you guys went to the theater, how much? Do you remember how much it cost to get in? About ten cents, huh? <coughs> go to the show. Don't hear it, the princess. As a princess, then. Uh huh. But that was way, way back. That's what he wants to know. How did you guys get there? Walk. Was it yeah, during the daytime right or at night? At night. When well, we went in the evening to the Vietnamese Verga, we walked. Was but it? at night, we would walk through the tracks and come up. Was it scary? Them. Yes, it was. <laughs> I believe it. Why? Because they used to say that uh, there was a man down there and they would see shadows and everything. You know how people are. We could see the balls of fire from the mountains. Yeah, I remember seeing you one. Remember? I remember seeing one over there. Yes, mm -hmm. up there and mm -hmm. over here. What what caused that? We don't know, but they would roll down, and yeah. roll down up there, and then come down to the river. I mean, my dad said he saw one over here. Right here, yeah. We saw oh, no. mm -hmm. and that one right there, and right that, there. that mountain, the big. That mountain one right there right too. There. Uh -huh. So that one right there? Yeah, that one up there. Oh, the one just above the Cuba right there? Yeah. Uh -huh. the Fireballs roll off of that? There's three we could see them right coming there. down and going up. What would start them? That's really weird. Some say it's acid, but I don't think so, because you could see them roll and then come down. To, right there by the um, radio station, a little ways over here, then they would come down to the river. And up here we saw one. I always heard witches. They said there was, but you know, not... Yeah, I wouldn't want to talk about that subject. Uh -huh. No, I, not living there. I, I agree with that. <laughs> so, do you remember any happy times? Yeah, when they had parties, charrascas over at uh, Claudina, Luján, and Juan Ochoa. And where else did they have? Ramona. Ramona. They used to have parties and people would get together. Yeah, that was really fun. I remember we used to have a lot of, you know, when I was a kid, with the unions, you go picnics uh -huh. at the rivers and everywhere else. And things yeah. have really changed, huh? Yep, a lot. Any, any, do you remember any sad times? Yeah, a lot of times when uh, people would die, of yeah. course, you know, and uh, when people would, were sick, you know, the, the ladies used to go and take care of them, my Nina, Chepa, and Grandma, because they had quarantined in many years, and they couldn't go into the houses, and if they, they had guards watching. So afterwards, when they would leave, 
For a while, my Nina Chepa and Grandma would go in and take care of the patients. And they never got sick. They never got the... And when whatever. people died, they used to have the wake at home. They, they didn't go... That's they, what they I didn't have a, They didn't have the mortuary. Mm -hmm. They would put them in a board or something and then baked up. They made their own coffin. Mr. Pedro, Pedro Gomez used to make the coffins. The men down here used to make of course, the coffins. people that had money would buy them. They could buy the coffins, but otherwise he used to make them. Nina Chepa did a lot of uh, mm -hmm. uh, putting the inside to coffins. The and lining and all that. Oh, she did? Yes, she mm -hmm. did. Uh huh. How about, uh, we talked about electricity, telephone, radio. How about the toilet? Do you have an indoor that toilet? Was a blessing. Yeah, there were the outside toilets. Yeah, they I remember. They had them that. up here in the mountain. And then afterwards, when they came in, brother, it was a blessing. So, what did you use for toilet paper? Sears papers, catalog? Papers, newspapers? Yeah, <laughs> newspapers and Sears catalog. Sears catalog we were I know. fighting for the catalog. <laughs> so, you had to, it was, it was at night, you had to go in the dark. Well, they went up to the, where they had the toilets yeah. up there. Yeah. Wow. That's scary. Yeah, it is. So who taught you to cook? Grandma. We had to do it the right way or right there. That was, she was strict. Okay, yeah. She used to do... One time show. Grandma and, uh, and, and Chippa, they had the toilet too in two sections, you know, in the same... Theater. And <laughs> Grandma <laughs> grandma and your... Grandma, grandma Chippa. Yeah. My mom and, gra and your grandma were in the toilet up there because they were, had two sexes, you know. Oh, really? Dividers. <laughs> and there was an old man without an arm. <laughs> and he came over and he asked uh, Juanita, where's your, um, where's your mom? Oh, they're up there in the toilet. <laughs> so he was going up there and <laughs> oh, he had no. brought the stuff. No. <laughs> <Threw> no. <it. laughs> Everything was outside. Did you have any pets growing up? Pets? Uh -huh. Not that I know. Okay. A chiva, a goat. We had yeah, a little goat. Yeah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. chickens. But not pets, though, were the ones uh, yeah, that you had. You ate them. A goat, you had a goat, uh huh. Did you eat them? They killed it, brother. Huh? They killed it to eat it, yeah. Well, I know your mother was really good at. She had rabbits. Doing she the had chickens. chickens. She had a cow. I remember seeing the chickens walking around without their Remember the cow they used to have up no. there? No. No. Did it bother you to see the chickens get killed like that? It was awful to see them to be killed, you know. And then grandma, they walk around. Yeah, grandma used to put them like that and hit the rabbits, get them like this, and boom, knock them out. Then twist, the, them twist the neck. The remember, chickens, the chickens. I remember like seeing some of those. Uh -huh. Walking around. Did you do any sewing, any crocheting? Uh, not really. Uh, just a little simple thing, but not, oh no, not like your mom. Your mom, God is. Grandma uh, did. Grandma did crochet. <coughs> and did a little bit. What? Crochet. A little, but not not fancy. And how'd you guys spend the uh, the evening? What'd you guys do at night? Sit out on the porch and talk like we're doing right now, but it's only right now. It's still light. Did you have coolers? No, we didn't have coolers. We would put beds outside, verdad, on the patio, and sleep outside at it, night. Oh, really? In summer and winter, you know what they used to do when it was there was no no gas or anything. They would get bricks and put them in the oven and warm them up and then wrap them up in towels and put them in your feet so you, you wouldn't be cold at night. Oh my God. Yeah, because it was cold. I bet. And the houses were, didn't have any... Insulation. Insulation at all. It was just the boards and, uh, and the... They used to put uh, some kind of yeah, material. Yeah, uh, a material. Cartons or whatever they could get, they would put on the walls. Wow. And you had to take a bath in a tub. And a lot of times they had about two or three of them taking a bath one after <laughs> another. <laughs> yeah. And let me tell you, there was a story about, I don't know what you heard about your dad and your grandpa. They were, the kids used to play in between the two houses uh -huh. boxing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they were boxing there. And my Nino Enrique, your grandpa, came from work. And he saw him, hey, what are you guys doing? Those are sissies. <laughs> Those are sissies in Mexico. We go by the hand like this. And then he says, give me a glove. So he says, Lique put him a glove and Lique was going to challenge him. So my Nino Enrique had the gloves and Lique come 
knocked him down. He knocked him Boy, he <laughs> cast him out, and he was trying to get rocks. <laughs> Couldn't do it because of the gloves. Your dad ran up the mountain. <laughs> Don't blame him. Do you, do you remember, since you, know, you, you guys were born, you know, almost, what, 70, 80, 90 years ago, yeah. and growing up, was it... Do you remember, was there any difference in the temperature? Was it colder, hotter, or what? Or was it about the well, same? We didn't feel it because we never had anybody. We survived. Did you get a lot of rain, a lot of snow? Or not, just about the not same? Not much snow, but rain we did have, especially when the floods came. You know, but other than that, you know, it's, uh, we really didn't have too much. Well, we didn't feel it. We had shoes, we had blankets, right? Huh? And then you would use a wood stove. So, so where'd you get your food? Did you have a garden or did you no, to the we store? had to go down and get it down at the PD at the Phillips Dodge or um, what's his name, the one in Chase Creek, hmm? Fernandez, Fernandez, Fernandez store in oh, Severo yeah. Alvo. They had the PD and the, right there at the American the, Legion. The oh yeah, that's right. I remember that. Mm -hmm. How about the one up in Northcliffe and what was that one called? Paul, uh, the Paul store. What was it you there when you, were, when you were young? No. You what? Was it was it there when you were young? Yeah, it was there. We used to go get there, and then they had a dance there. They afterwards they put it to a dance hall. We used to go over there. First it was a dance hall, and then it was a store. Uh huh. We went over there. Uh, what what kind of food did you buy? Potatoes, beans, for the macaroni to make macaroni, rice, sopas, sopas to make sopas, soups. And then when Christmas would come, tamales and menudo. And uh, we didn't have for turkeys. We didn't have for Christmas. We didn't have uh, hams, verdad? Just the regular tamales was always a favorite. And beans. And what did you guys drink? We had chocolate, verdad? Chocolate para tomar, yeah. And of course, the ones that drank coffee or whoever drank beer or whatever, you know. And they used to make homebrew, the women. Used to make homebrew to what? support their family. Beer? Yes, Grandma made it. Used to make homebrew. Was and it good? Who were the ones that would come in? The, the feds, verdad? Huh? The feds would come in. They oh, would? Yeah. And get them unexpected. Boy, this one would run and get thrown to the <laughs> arroyo. I used to get the home mad because every time the federal would come, you know, they would come and pick Chips. up the, the jugs for and throw them away. Here and break them. And, and where would they come from? From Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah, what, you have people shouting? It was against the law for you to make homebrew. I used to make homebrew, but for our use at home, you know. You had people tell, tell, you know, telling people, on them? Yeah, they 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 would, all around here. Everybody, you could hear bottles go to the Arroyo. Mm -hmm. What was your, uh, what was your favorite holiday growing up? <laughs> what was your favorite holiday growing up? <laughs> they didn't have any. Christmas? <laughs> Just any day it was... How about Christmas? I just celebrate. Did you have a tree? No, we didn't have no trees, no nothing. Just tamales, verdad, menudo. No presents? Hardly no presents. There was any money. They yeah. didn't have money to buy us. Grandma had to raise her own kids, nine of them. Nine? Nine yeah. of them by herself because my dad died from a... When they pulled out a tooth from him, he got meningitis, huh? Yeah. Infection. Oh, really? He got meningitis. Meningitis. Oh, no. How long, how old was he? How old was my dad? How old was he when he passed away? I think he was about, um, I don't remember him. I think he was about 56. I think he was about 56. He died young. When you were growing up, like in grade school, and then you went to middle school and high school, did you have any best friends? We did. Yeah, we had a, in grade school, we used to have Sally Ochoa, Papusi, Lucia Tellez, Margie Salcido, Gloria Lara, Sally Ochoa, I yeah, mentioned Sally, and um, Norberta Hernandez. They're off to Shannon Hill? Or? Shannon Hill, and then the ones from uh, Chase Creek, North Clifton. We had a lot of a friends. friends. Did you guys swim? No, we went to the river. We never learned swimming. But what, we went to the river. What part of the river? Just down here? Down here in the Winsta. The swimming hole. The swimming hole and then... Uh, did, you, did you know how to swim? Or you just... No, no, we never did learn. Just, yeah, me neither. <laughs> and when, when you first got the radio, what, what did you used to listen to on the radio? Oh, 
What did you listen for? We, you got the radio, the first radio. The music and all that. The Spanish, the Spanish program. My Nino Enrique and all of them we used to play the music from Mexico, you know, it would come in. When they got a big, a bigger uh, radio. radio. Yeah, I remember those big ones. Uh, your grandma sold us the one, a little one like that. That was the one we have. But, oh, but they used to hear my Nino Enrique used to like to hear the music, Mexican music. Did you go to dances or you didn't and go to anywhere? He loved to dance. dance. <laughs> he loved to dance. He was a good dancer. Well, how about you girls? Did you go dancing? Yes, we went to dances, uh -huh, but we had to walk. And they would hitchhike to Marenzi to go to the dances up there. Who, Mary? All yeah, the girls. We, we used to be a truck. Uh -huh, a hitchhike? They, they had cars? A truck. Pepe Ochoa used to have a truck, right? And you wanted to sit in the back of the truck? Juan Ochoa, yeah. You sit in the back of the truck, getting your hair all messed up. We get in the truck and we go to the <laughs> Marinci to the dances. They did. Where, they where, did. where in Marinci? In the Imperio. Where did you go to the dances? At the Royal Imperio or the Royal? The Imperio. Mm -hmm. The Imperio Marinci. The Royal. That, that turned out to be a theater, wasn't it? A theater, uh huh. Is that where they had the? They used to have the bowling alley. Yeah. Afterwards, they had it down here in Clifton. Did you did, did you experience any any segregation? At that time, there was Verdad Mary segregation. That's oh, why yeah. we were going to Chase Creek because they had it. Yeah, but you know, I remember mm -hmm. when we were going to, when no, we were young too. You know, you couldn't go in out Marinci, with anybody. In there was a lot of segregation because when Tony, my husband, was going out with Navas McReynolds, they threatened him that he, they were going to kill him because he was going out with her. They were going to shoot him. Wow. Yeah, because they didn't want uh, the Anglos going out with a Mexican. Yep. They sent this guy to prison. Because he's, he was uh, going out with a white girl. Unbelievable. Still goes on. La Pelona. La Pelona, yeah. Uh -huh. when, when did you guys get the first car? As a family or when you got married? Uh, when I got married. I remember what I, I remember that. I remember one time going to the drive-in with you on that black one. Yeah, that black one we had. Whatever that was. That one, and then we had the little station wagon. Yeah. The red one. Yeah. So, so you still do driving today? Right? Yeah, I'm still driving. Mary, Mary did, did you ever drive? Yeah, <laughs> I did. What? When you lived down there? In the middle when of I was living down there. Uh -huh. What? What? I never saw you driving. Why did you drive? Your station wagon, your blue one. She I had, had a blue, blue one, and then I had a white one. A white. You know who it belonged to? To the papa de Elvis Martinez. George Mm-hmm. The first one. The first one. And then I got the. The blue station wagon. Uh -huh. What was it when you were going to school? What, what kind? What was your favorite subject in school? PE. <laughs> oh, I love volleyball and all that. I played in high school. So volleyball. you went for sports in high school? Yeah. What'd you do? Tenth, I went to the tenth grade. I was going to go to the eleventh, but then I got married. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I only went through the eighth grade. Did, well, what was your favorite? What was your favorite sport in school? What'd you do? Baseball. I used to love baseball. Did you have a favorite teacher? Did you no have a, way. <laughs> they were all bad, huh? We did. I did. Miss Gibbons and Miss um, uh, La Gibbons and La, there was a, another one. Uh, La Span, Mrs. Span, La Priest. There were three teachers that were very good. There was a there was a lot of prejudice at school. I bet. In the Clifton school. Even in Clifton, huh? Yeah. Was it a lot of a lot of people then going to school? Oh, yeah, a lot uh, more than we did, huh? Every the ones from Chase Creek had to walk to Clifton High School, and the ones from <coughs> here when they started, they would walk from here to Chase Creek because it was segregated. When you walk when you walk high school over here, did you go across a bridge or you go to the river? Across a bridge. Yeah. Yeah. No. Once in a while in summer we would cross the river because it was so hot, but then we'd get it if we walked. We crossed the river, and we're there, boy. I got it with a belt from Chapel. <laughs> oh, yeah? I wasn't supposed to be there. <laughs> they didn't want me crossing the river, and I lost my tennis shoes. <laughs> Did you play any instruments? No. You never learned to play anything? No, nothing. The dishes. <laughs> <laughs> the spoons. The, the spoons. dishes and the palote to make tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> you still make tortillas? Not anymore. Not anymore. I don't we, think anybody does we anymore. We make tamales. We cook a lot when we have company. Do you remember any funny stories growing up? A lot of them, verdad? 
a lot of funny stories, fights about the people in the middle of the street, uh, Ramona Tellez and the Salcidos, they would get into it and they would say, ay, there's Ramona, there's Cantor, they're at it. They would hit each other and cuss each other out for the kids on account of the kids because one family was better than the other one. And everybody could hear it, huh? Oh yeah, it was a ringside right there in the middle of the street. And then sometimes we used to fight with your uh, with your dad and your <laughs> and your uncles. Money, well, money. And we would throw water at each other. Or... How? Just with glasses? No, with the what did you use uh, to get water cans? Cans. We had cans and we throw water they at each other. They were Did you fly any kites? Kites, yeah, up here we did. Uh huh. We would go up with the kids. Your grandma up here. had a real big desk there. A peach tree, oh, yeah. and my mother had uh, pomegranates. So when, uh, when the time that they were ripe, that the uh, peaches were ripe, well, we would steal some. And when our, our pomegranates were, they would steal ripe. some. Yeah, they would come and steal. <laughs> oh, my so well. we used to have so many fights. <laughs> but it was always a happy family because yeah. if anything happened, from what I hear, they would. Uh, if my Nina or my Nino had to punish one of the kids, you know, with a belt, Grandma would go over and if Grandma would do it, my Nina Chippa came over. <laughs> were, were you guys ever in the uh, armed forces? No. Your husbands? My what? husband was. He was in the army. He was in the army? What, what part of the army? He was in Hawaii. Army? He was with the medics. He was a medic? Yeah, working with the medics. I was a medic. Yeah. And Mary, your husband, was he in the army? Chito was in the service. Right? Yeah, he was in the service. He went to the Philippines. And during World War II, huh? And Chapo went to the army. Weasel went to the army. Tony went to the army. All Weasel together. went twice. I remember. Didn't he? he went to the navy too. I remember seeing. I'm always on the internet. I remember seeing a picture when they were having a get together downtown, a farewell to all everybody going to the army. I remember Art too had a picture when they were all going to the army. I have pictures <coughs> of them. <coughs> and then there was a lot of, like I said, segregation, discrimination against the Mexicans, but here they were out. You know what? I have a lot of the pictures because I used to buy them from Gabusi. Oh, they really? Had them. Yeah, Risden Studio. I used to buy them when they would take them for the service. They would take their pictures there in front of the city hall where it used to be, or if not at the tennis court. I have pictures. And they gained a lot of respect when they came back from the army, right? Yep, yep. And that's when community got closer together than when it was before, I imagine, right? What was it? I guess the community got closer together. Yeah, yeah, it was closer, uh-huh, yeah. They got more and more rights, more respect. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's, let's go over some of those questions that you had there that we're going to answer. Uh, let, let me, let me turn it, it off. Got it. You got it? Okay, yeah. What do you want to talk about? What are we going to talk about here? No, well, we have Margarita. And we talked about uh, Polonia, Ruiz. We talked where they were born. We talked about my brothers and everybody, okay? Then uh, Juanita, all of them were married. When I got married, when Margie and Patsy were born, Evelyn, okay? That's my Well, sister. when you got married, Rosa, did you have a big wedding? Yeah, we had a military wedding. And where was that at? Uh, we had it here at the Coronado Inn. We got married in the Clifton Church. We had the reception here at the house. How many bridesmaids did you have? I had uh, Felia. I had Norberta. I had Margie. I had Lupe Bertoldo and Sally. And how about the, the men? Manuel Aguirre. He, was he the best man? No, the best man was Weasel. My brother. Weasel? And who was, who was oh, the maid of honor? Arminia, Arminia Sanchez to Mina. Who was the maid of honor? Uh, Mina Sanchez. Mina Sanchez. Yeah. And Weasel was the first one. And then Benny Mendoza, Phil Moore, and Manuel Aguirre. All of them were. You remember who the little ones? You have a ring bearer? Irene. Irene, Irene your Irene? sister. The flower child. Yes. And Olivia was hers. Yeah, I know. Yeah, when she got married. Yeah. And Mary, when you got married, where, where did you get married? Loris. Where did you get married? She would be loved. You loved? Her house. <laughs> you loved? How old were you? I didn't have anything. You, didn't, you didn't elope, huh? No, no. How old were you when you got married? When you got married, how old were you? Uh, Twenty. Twenty. And you, what's that? I was going to be eighteen. Oh yeah, I told me that. You were in tenth grade, yeah. 
Okay, so so let's go back on to the to the list where we were left. Before I interrupt, I'm sorry. Okay. What do you want to know? Well, you were talking about your we your wedding, then you went to. We had about. a dance there at the Coronado Inn. And there was oh, the guys were coming from the service. They had already come in, and they had a military. Uh, they asked uh, the guys for the wedding, since they were coming in to wear uniforms. So everybody was wearing a uniform when they went to the the dance, the wedding dance we had. All of them, the ones that went had come in from the service, they wore their uniforms. Oh, did you have a band or did you have records? A band, a band. From here or from where? Oh, no, from here. Um, Kiko Chavarria, uh, what's his name, the one in Chase Creek. The, the one that, Kiko and... And um, uh, Daoniate Chapo, and all of them that used to play, you know. I guess it's at the Coronado one upstairs. At the Coronado one on the top floor? On top, on top, on the top floor, it was yeah, packed. Yeah, that was nice. It was packed. I want to I'm going to bring out the nice. only one. Yeah. Chalio. Yeah, Chalio. Chalio. He used to play. And uh, Herb Aguilar, all of them used to play. We had a very nice crowd, a big crowd. When you were little girls and growing up, did you have to wear dresses all the time or you wore pants? Dresses. Dresses. We hardly had verdad, pantalones. My Nina used to make my dresses. Nina oh, really? Chepa. And my Nina Luisa Perea. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they used my to mother's, my grandma's mother, uh, uh, my grandma Dickie. No, sister. Oh, Luisa, oh yeah, Luisa, uh -huh. I know Luisa. Yeah, they used to make dresses for me. <coughs> my Nina Chepa was beautiful, Nina, as well as my Nino Enrique, very good with us. They looked after us, you know, because my dad died, I, I didn't know my dad. I was very young when he passed away. So we're, okay, where else were we? Okay, let's see, we're talking here about getting married, okay? Now we're going here about the family, Chapo, the kids, he had 13 kids. He's the one that committed suicide. Yeah. Okay? Then we go Juanita and Raymond, Monchi, those, those are our grandma's son. And Mary was born at the hospital, okay? My name, Rosa, came from my Nina Chepa. She's the one that gave me the name. Oh, really? Why? Because I was very sick and uh, I had a high fever. And she was the one that was always taking care of me, verdad? From what I hear. And my dad had to go down to the ice plant and get ice and put me in water because I had a fever. I guess they say something happened to me. I don't know what happened. You, you were born with a real high fever. And my Nina Chepa was the one first got and then her. She's the one that took care of me. And she wanted the name Rosana. Uh -huh. Rosa. So she named me a beautiful godmother. And Mary, who were you named after? You know? Who were you born? Uh, who named you? My mom, I guess. Well, how come, how come Mary? How come they chose Mary? Why did they choose the name Maria? Oh. For la Virgen. It was, uh, remember I yeah. told you about... Grandma was very sick and she was... She was having a hard time. And she made, named me Maria Montserrat. Because I was... Uh, Dying. I almost died oh, no. before, before I was shooting. She, she had a real lot. hard time with me. She almost see, died. Well, see, she, they were pregnant. She had to work, wash, cook on the a wood stove and everything. So she brought up nine kids. Wow. Well. She helped my dad first with them, but like I said, I didn't, I didn't know my dad. I was little when he passed away. I don't remember him at all. Yep. Okay, that's, um. no, my Nina Chepa was very special. Let's see what else. We, you got already... Um, where, where grandma was born, my mom was born. Let's see. Yeah, and where the family, my her mom was buried up here in Marinci. That's about it we have here. Did, <coughs> when you started going out with Tony, did, did, did your mother like him, the rest uh, of the family? See, first I went to Marinci to visit her, and then that's where I went to the Marinci store with a friend of mine, Alice, um, he met uh, Martin, uh, Medina. Huh? Medina. And he asked Alice, who was a girl with, I was a young girl, about 14, who's a girl with you? And she said, so and so, I would like to meet her. So she introduced me, that's where we met. And then they asked us if we would go to the show, you know, matinees. I said, I have to ask permission from Mary. I used to go visit her, oh, yeah. stay with her in Marenzi. So she gave me permission, and we all sat up there in the Royal Theater, the old Royal Theater on the top of the balcony. We sat there and we talked, and then just friends, you know. But then, 
week he went to the service. He finished school. They didn't graduate. They they had the all the Montmorency boys about six or seven, and then went to the service. So then he was in Hawaii. He was working with the medics, and one day he wrote to me. We we hardly got to see each other any uh, here in Clifton. Just walking from the park where all the kids, Bailey and Nelly, we used to get together, walk with the boys up to Shannon Hill. The Mercy boys would come down. One of them would pitch in for guests, and all of them would pile in. Where'd you guys go on dates? Just at the park. We would all talk there. Nobody would separate. Everybody was there. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, and then we would walk home just holding hands. Nothing serious, nothing taken advantage of, nothing very respectable. When did you get your first kiss? Let's see, it was... Uh, you don't have to answer. When, okay, no, <laughs> no, wait a minute. When he came from the service. Really? Yeah, because we did, we did, we were just friends. He was very honorable. But he, yeah, and he would write to me. So when he went to the service, that's when he... Uh, he was out there and he asked me, he wrote to me, I got my engagement through the mail, and uh, he wrote to me that he wanted to get married. So his mom passed away in August and he couldn't come because they were bringing all the wounded ones and he had to stay and help out. So he didn't come until November, the first of November. So they gave him a long extension uh, uh, furlough. So when he came, we went out and then uh, Grandma accepted him real good, my mom accepted him real good and uh, we went out and then he tells me you know what I have to leave tomorrow to Baker um, uh, Baker's uh, Bakerfield or California where they had the, the camp so he went back your mama gave us a party there at the house when Bailey and everybody was before Christmas we were, we were dancing there at your house and uh, he had to go so then he calls me throw some being discharged what do you say we get married in December? He went in November, <laughs> so we got married in December the 29, 1945. Oh, that's a good story. Yeah. But no, it was nothing serious, just friends. Like I said, I hardly knew him and because we hadn't seen. See, when he left for the service, I wasn't going out with him. Yeah. He started writing to me. When Did you write him a lot of letters too? Yeah, a lot of letters and everything, yeah. How much did it cost for a stamp those days? At that time, three cents. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And Mary, how about you? Do what? How did you date? How did you meet Chito? How did you meet him? At the dances. The dances. Too. At the dances too. We used to the ones he used to hitchhike too. Believe it or not, we would ride on the on the Truck. dashboard, of the cars. No. Going to the to the top, but we would go up to the dances. Unbelievable. Yep. Unbelievable. Huh? But we had good music. Let me tell you. Yeah, they did. What kind of music? Everything. Bueno, when uh, Spanish uh, music they would play, verdad? They would play corridos and everything like that. Balsas, my Nino Enrique used to dance beautiful. Him and my Nina Chepa. Oh, he was a good dancer. dancer. He taught the kids how to dance on his toes. He would put him to step on them and then he would move his feet. Oh, really? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, he was a good man. Very good. He, pro he provided me with a lot of stuff and Tony, my brother. And Becky, everybody called him Nino and Nina Chepa. But I was the only one that was a godchild to my Nina. She was like a mom to me. And when your mom was that already had dementia or Alzheimer's, she wouldn't let nobody give her a bath but me. Yeah. Yeah. Cut her hair and I would take her to a tasty freeze with me. The girls would ask her, Chepa, you wanna go to a tasty freeze? No, I don't wanna go. She would sit out there. And then I would go, Nina. I'm gonna take my mom down to the tasty freeze. You wanna go? Yeah, I'll go with you. She was very good to me. That so, was a, a godmother right there. Yeah. Very good. You guys are really close. The very two families good. are really, really close. Duris and myself, Cassie, were the same age. Yeah. Yeah. But let me tell you that our families were very close, right? Them, both of them. They had their fights, them. I never did have any fights with them, but they did. Yes. Money, money, and I used to fight a lot. Money for care. Why? Uh, he would throw buckets of water, and I would throw <laughs> rocks at him. Oh, but why would you fight? What would start it? Huh? What would start the fight? Any little thing, any little thing. But we were always fighting. And if something happened, all of them were together. Yeah. 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 It was a beautiful family. Let me tell you. So you guys got together a lot of times, uh, the and two families? Yeah, like your mom. Your mom is something special. She's a woman that's so beautiful. 
She's yeah, she works hard. Just Lily. She's a beautiful person. And we check on her. You know, I get scared when a lot of times I don't hear her. I say, Maria, I'm going to go check on Lily. And then I can't see where the, through the car, you know. So I throw myself on the floor to see if the car's there. Because <laughs> we check, you know, look at one or two. Oh, uh, I know. I appreciate it. I, I, I got your phone number here. Good. So we one check time, on well, her. A lot of times I'll call her up and she'll leave the phone out the hook. I see, um, and I worry about it too, you know. Because she answers the one outside and leaves that one off and she goes inside and it was off the hook. And I can't get a hold of her because I call my mother every night. We check on her because especially we don't see her or see the car go down. Maria wanna go check and see how Lily's doing because nobody knows. Yeah. Look at Juan Ochoa. Juan Ochoa was there. Um, I used to go over. He used to have the radio, the lights on. And I, I went for three days in a room. Well, he's fine. He's got the music going on, okay? So what happens? Juan Ochoa was right there by the door inside trying to get out in his uh, underwear. A heart attack. Mm. Three days later, they found him. Terrible. And I would go, but I didn't want to bother him because I knew he had the radio on, the lights were on, yeah. it was okay. I used to check on him. I call my mother every night. Good, good. At 9 o'clock, after her novella is over. Yeah, and in the morning, you know, <laughs> in the morning, that's when we check on her. Yeah, yeah, she tells me. She, she, if, the, if, the, if the little window thing doesn't come on in there, uh -huh. you call her up to check on her. Yeah. But she we does have that to one. see the light. That way we know that. And I really she do appreciate answer, it. We, I go to the back and say, Lily, Lily, yeah, Rosie, I'm over here, you know. Uh -huh. I really do appreciate it, and I'm really glad you two let me do this. Yes. And later on, you know, still, I'll, I'll leave this with you. Anything else, keep going at it. I come back and we'll add more to it. And when I get to Phoenix after a while, I'll, I'll put it on a DVD and I'll send it to you. Okay, thank and you. And we'll work on it. Uh, what made you do this? You wanted to find out? Yeah, I wanted to find out. You know, I know I did, I did, my, I did my mom, my dad, all my uncles and everybody else, and, mm -hmm. you know, and I remember telling David I was going to sit here and do it. Yeah. And then, but then, you know, like I said, we were all family, close together. I wanted to I know. Like I wanted to know more about Rosa yeah. and Mary. You know. And and you know, I think it was always such a pleasure because we were so close. Yeah. My Nina, if anything happened, she was here with us. Uh, Grandma, something happened, then she was over there with her. We were close, but not like today. You, you see him, nobody. They didn't to care. We were fighting. They didn't care. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right. One time, one time, I told him, no. <coughs> they used to call him Panal. Okay. Panal. Quiero pelear. And he said, yeah, come over, Panzona. <laughs> so I was fat, you know. Yeah. But I had a ring with a big the stone. A stone. I was Juanita. And I just wanted to try to hit somebody with it. <laughs> so I went out yeah. there, we were between the houses. And, and I hit him, Pobrecito. I opened his arm yeah. right there because I wanted to hit him with, him, <laughs> with a ring. Well, Lalo was always like that, man. <laughs> he was a fighter. He was a fighter, no doubt about it. Uh, well, that time I got him. <laughs> Grandma, how do you Diki, Diki. Your mom's, uh, uh, right. your grandma's mom. She would come Diki. from over there, <clears throat> over here. And you could hear yelling at my Nina because they would punish the kids or something, you know. I, re I barely remember. She would, huh? Uh, yeah. Uh -oh. oh, she would get so mad. Yeah, my grandma would get kind of mean sometimes. Yeah. Nina Chepa, yes, yeah, she threw a knife at Nelly and got it stuck on the on the door. I remember hearing that and one. Delia, verdad? She beat up Delia real bad. Lalo. And then one time she hit, she threw a rock from here. And Moni was up out here, and he hit him, and um, she hit him, and no And <laughs> Tito almost came out. Oh, oh no. Yeah. And Moni cut his arm there in that thing where they used to have the Yeah, train. the old train, when the train yeah. used to turn around, yeah. yeah. I remember that one. He got a little bit of money. I think Kiko was his lawyer or something. Really? He tried to be. That's what Kiko told me. Uh -huh. I, I got Kiko in one of these a long time ago, too. Really? Oh, Kiko nice. and Kuka. That is something nice that you have, maybe, you know, to see. So I'll give it to you, especially, especially you know, then, then you, I make some copies, you can give them to Mel, Olivia, uh -huh. oh, and then nice. David, and everybody else, you know. And yeah. then later on, what I do, later on, when I have plenty of time, what I do, too, I'll, I'll sit there and I I play it back and forth, and I get the questions that I ask you, uh -huh. and I put them all down on paper, and then out of these, you, you take pictures out of them, and you put pictures on them, too. Isn't that nice? So you do all that, but it takes me a long it's time. It's a hobby you have. It's, I like to do it. It's a hobby. It's nice. That's I like to do it. I haven't done a little bit in a long time because I've been so busy at work and I've been sick. Mm -hmm. I guess I've come down with bronchitis two times this year in six uh -huh. months. 
And I can't believe that. I gotta go to the hospital all the time. To, you know, to, ay, ay, ay. They give me treatments. You gotta see Michael how good he looks after he had his surgery. Yeah, that's, he looks good and he's working. He went back to work. Good. He had retired. But he went back, he says, Mom, I can't find myself. There's nothing to do. So he went back to work and he's doing real good. Good. Yeah, no, there wouldn't be. That's hard. And his hard. daughter is in the Navy. Oh, really? Leandra, yeah. Leandra's in the Navy. And Jacob bought a house down here in South Clifton. So how many, how many you grand, have uh, you, have, you have three kids. How many grandkids? Okay, I have, Melinda has Gary, Mark, Kathy. Okay, those three. And then uh, uh, Olivia has Sheila. That's four. And uh, who else? Olivia. And uh, then my grandkids, uh, Michael. Michael has three grandkids. Uh, Olivia has one granddaughter. No, two. Stephen and Savannah. Stephen and Savannah. Uh -huh. And uh, that's. I it. remember meeting Savannah here. Oh, yes. I mean, she's smart. Very advanced. So, do you have any great grandkids? Yes, I have grandkids. Uh, uh, Mark's son has a, a baby. They have two babies, so I got some the, already the third generation or fourth, I think. And Mary, how many do you have from Virgie? None. None. Virgie didn't have any kids? She never had any kids. And David, David has. only has uh, Brian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know that feeling. I only have one, too. And Linda. You only have one in Hank, Verda. Uh -huh. Isn't that something? That's it. Too many gray hairs. Let's see, I have Michael. Has do you have any grandkids? Two? You know, I do. I never get a chance to see him. Never get a chance to see him. Kathy Hank had him when he was 16. Kathy He's 14 two, now. Yeah. I'm counting my grandkids. Kathy has two great grandkids. Gary doesn't have any. He doesn't want to get uh, have kids. He lives up here on the trailers. I thought I saw him. Yeah. Uh -huh. Going down today. Yeah. You don't want a glass of tea or something? No, I got to go. I think Hank just buzzed me. They got dinner ready for me. Oh, and But anyway, we'll finish this. I'll leave you this. Okay. Anything else you want to do, and next time I come and discuss, we'll discuss them and I'll put them all together. And you're like going to uh, make a movie out of it or what? Oh yeah, well, this this thing here, Yeah. when I get back to Phoenix, I will, uh, I'll put it on the DVD and I'll mail it to my mother and she can give it to you. Oh, okay. But it was really, I really enjoy it. Thank you very much for letting me well, do this. I, I hope we explained ourselves uh, that you understood us. A lot of times we get a little I carried did. away. And it was good to come in here to see your house. Thank you. And see your yard, and then stand here on the porch where you sit. Yeah. And you can see. I see it over there. Patsy comes here. And okay, uh, I sit over there, and it's a different. It's, it's different when you come just just a little further down. You see something a little bit different. It's well, know? everybody that comes here, they love it because they can see everything. It see. is. It is really nice. No doubt about it. I tell everybody in Phoenix where I live. I send them pictures all the time of that mountain. Did you guys ever climb that mountain? No. Uh, Curly has this one, way, uh, that one up there, and the. Clifton's Peak. But you being girls never never no, no, never no, wanted no. to climb it. And you know what? They, up there in that um, Clifton's Peak, they found some pots made out of gold, probably Coronado, when they had oh, really? found a hat, too. There's a cave <coughs> in there, but they say it's dangerous to go in. I'm oh, sure it is. Up there. Cachuri was the one that got the, the, the gold things, you know. I got to see him. Really? So what did you find out? Did you find out about the earthquake I told you about the other day? Yes, we heard about it. Yeah. I know, it wasn't something. Yeah. It's getting closer. 2012. That's right. <laughs> That's what they say, that it's no more calendars, no more nothing. That's a Mayan calendar. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. I always see I always see a lot of UFOs coming over these hills. Remember the, the balls of fires that we used to see all over here? What, do, you, do you remember any scary stories when you were girls? What, yes. do you, what, what scared you the most? La Llorona. <laughs> La Llorona, yeah. Yeah, the wailing woman because she threw her kids. Let me tell you, one day Grandma, Estefana, Tony, and I were coming from the Coronado Inn because we used to go play shuffleboard. And we used to take them with us. And we were walking through the tracks. It was at 12, 15. We were walking, and all of a sudden we heard that, that awful cry, ah, like that. And we thought somebody, you know, was fighting or something. We heard it all through the river. We were up here on the tracks, and Estefana just went and blessed herself. She says, it's a Llorona. It was an awful cry. I don't like walking that track. Track you know, from, from there, from the theater. My mom and dad used to go to the east side and stay over there. I go to the movies and walk back at there at night. It's scary. scary. Eddie, Eddie was talking about the time they heard footsteps right here on the track, him and Jimmy. 
I remember him telling me that. I remember him telling me that one at all. Yeah. It's scary. Yeah. A lot of scary stories. And the fireballs, how did... They say cause there were kids with tires. How can kids be in tires up there? Well, even that. I remember seeing these over here. And then if you, if you ever walk up there, it's, yeah. it's terrible. And there's no way it's going to come down in a straight line. It's coming down like this, and then it splits and goes the other way. That's the way I saw them. And nothing could go that way. Let me tell you, when they had that uh, flood, remember that it rained a lot? There were pieces of gold in back of the high school, the grade school, where they came from, you know, the arroyo. It's from the Lemons Canyon. They call it the Lemon Squeezer. Oh, yeah. They found nuggets of gold and in back of the mortuary. I believe it. Yeah, yeah. You ever, you ever got the Lemon Squeezer? We went when we were in school. Yeah. It was awful. It was scary. It is, it is pretty scary. Yeah, scary. My mother said she used to hear, like, noises all the time, like Indian stock and stuff when he was a little girl and they used to get that. Yeah, it's awful. Uh-uh. Let me tell you, uh, people say that, oh, no, it's not so, but those balls of fire, what are they? I saw one here by your grandma's house. Tony was taking guitar lessons from Don Luis Perea, and it was, there was a carnival down here, and we were anxious to get away so we could go to the carnival. Tony drove out, and we were coming. There was a ball of fire right there by your, do you remember the little path right there going to your grandma's house? Yeah. Okay. We were coming there by the stairs of Tony Juanita Podaca's house, a big ball of fire. It went jumping way up to the mountain. I went and called Don Luis, Don Manuela Podaca. They came. They saw it going up there. They had rifles, but what could they do? Yeah. Yeah? It's strange, they, I know. Right there. We could but see you don't it. see them anymore. I wonder why they were up. We don't know. Right, big you don't one, see it that. was a big one. You don't see them anymore. And it was jumping. Big, big jumps. And then the one that came down, down to the river, right? That one too, and then up there. We don't know what they are. But it's the balls of fire. They say they're witches. I don't know. I don't know. And that one, they came from up there to the mountain. It came up bouncing. The school wasn't there. It came bouncing down towards the river. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to have to run. Andale, pues so thank you. Well, thank and, you. For and we'll, we'll follow with.